Today we will see macro functions in SAS. So in that series, first function which we're gonna start with is percent str. In SAS, whatever functions you use, you use them with a percent. As we have seen in the previous video that we we used if then else statement, but those all were prefixed with percent so similarly here we will see percent str uses we will see three main uses of percent str hello everyone welcome to the channel now to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so let's see the first uses of str the very first use is it helps in printing the codes with text by preceding a percent symbol meaning if you want to store some text in a macro variable which contains a quotes that you can do with the help of one percent symbol which is which must be preceded and with the uses of percent str let's see it with an example so here i'm gonna say create a variable word and so this kind of macro variable i want to create if you can see the color of the text here it has been changed because of this quotes now let's try to print this Okay, so here we are assigning this value in what variable and here we want to print that. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, it all says, give, it gives you the information, but it does not print what you wanted. So now in the definition, it says you can use 1% symbol. I mean, you can uh, precede this quotes with 1% and then you can print the quotes. So let's try that as well. Even that does not work. So for that, let's try using str. And put that inside the bracket. Now let's try to print this. Here we go. Now you can see it has been printed over here as we wanted. So this is how you can use the percent str function to print either single quote or double quote which must be preceded with a percent symbol let's look at the second use the second use is helps in printing the special characters like these all symbols in a macro variable let's try them again percent let we want to create a variable x in which we want to store this kind of a statement proc means we want to store this processor into that okay so this semicolon is for run and this semicolon is to terminate this statement this semicolon is for proc means if you write proc means you have to write this kind of syntax so here the case is these two special characters we want to print with this alphabets all right now let's see if this is printed this gets printed put ampersand x dot and semicolon now let's try to run this here you see the semicolon is not appearing over here so if you want to make that appear over here you can use percent str all right and now let's try running this so you can see that appears over here so this is how you can use percent str to make any of these things appear with your text whatever you store in this macro variable this was the second use now let's look at the third use third use is it helps in retaining the 
trailing and leading blanks all right let's try by me by now you must have the understanding what are the trailing and leading blanks i just hope that you understand it so that's not in the scope of this video to explain what is trailing and what is leading blanks so here we just want to store a value a with some trailing blanks okay so if you notice i just put two blanks over here okay now let's try to print this and see if that appears or not let's run this that does not seem to appear over here okay let me just put some leading blanks also okay now let's try to print this does not seem to appear over here now let's do one thing let's put let me just remove the spaces from here and put a send str start the bracket and let me just put some space over here and then some space over here and let's run this now if you see it has the leading blanks this also has the trailing blanks but that we cannot see i mean you can see that it is selected right if you remove these blanks over here from here and then if you see that let's see how does how does that appear see you cannot see any leading blanks i mean this is the default blank but there is no other blank over here okay you cannot see any blank after the alphabet as well right so this is how if you want to print some leading and trailing blank with the text then you can use str percent str i'm sorry so these were the three uses of str percent str function in macro so for now i would suggest i strongly recommend to please you try using this percent str please make a practical use of this percent str this is very useful function and let me know in case of any kind of doubt you face any kind of problem you face put that in the comment section i'll definitely help you out in the next video we'll see next function for now thank you very much watching the video wish you very good luck